Are you single and ready to mingle? Join our singles party. How old are you? And what do you do for a living? All right. So the first person that I'm going to call to answer is going to be James. How old are you? And what do you do for a living? I'm a big walking 39, and I'm a store clerk. Awesome. William? I'm 35, and I'm a published author. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Benica? Yes, I'm 28, and I'm a scientist. Awesome. Kaya? 37, and I'm a caretaker. All right. Cameron? I'm 22 and a financial planner. All right, Robin? Um, I'm 32 and I'm a background investigator. All right, Aiden? I'm 22 and I'm a stand-up comic. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Benjamin? Uh, I am 26 and I am a, uh, a locomotive mechanic. Awesome, Cole? 29, and I work in aerospace maintenance. Awesome. And Zora. Hello. Uh, I'm 25, and I do broadcast engineering and live streams and video editing of that sort. Awesome, guys. Awesome. So the first official question on the floor is, what are you currently looking for? So are you looking for new friends to date someone new, a long-term relationship? What are you currently looking for? And I will start with Darren. What are you currently looking for? I'm looking for a long-term relationship. Uh, get to know the person. Uh, get to know our uh, our our differences and our similarities, and what things they like to do after work, and you know what hobbies they have, and things like that. You know? Awesome, awesome, Zara. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to buy a house in the next five years. So romantically, platonically, like. Just fucking own some shit, you feel me? That's what I got. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. Uh Cole. Um, mainly looking for like a long term type relationship, but also to like expand social circles and like, meet new people, new experiences in general. Awesome. Uh Benjamin. Uh me personally, I'm looking for uh just kind of dating, kind of taking things slow. Um, hopefully to go to uh, be in a long-term relationship, um, find someone that uh, we can exchange hobbies, exchange interests, uh, get to know each other that way. Um, I'm just very easy to go and kind of go with the flow kind of person. So that's what I want to look for in dating and relationship life right, right there. Awesome. Aiden? Uh, a woman. I've been single for about uh, two weeks now, and it's getting really rough. All righty, sounds good. Uh, Robin? Um, well, I'm new to Texas. I just moved here, and I don't know anyone. So just um, just genuine connections, uh, friends. Um, I'm open to whoever wants to be friends and hang out. Okay. Uh, Cameron? Cameron? Yeah, um, I'm looking for a, a longer term relationship. Um, nothing really else other than you know, I'm always interested in meeting people and you know, having a good time. Uh, but uh, for these purposes, just trying to find a life partner that I can build something with. Awesome. Uh, Kaya? I'm looking for a homie love a friend, period. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Uh, Benica? I'm looking for a long term relationship as well as someone I can explore new things with. Awesome. William? I'm looking for a long-term relationship that leads to marriage and to expand my social circle. All right, and James? I'm looking for cute eyes and nice eyes, and hopefully uh, someone down in the same area. Uh, I'm in the Bluegrass State. So uh, go with the flow and hopefully you have a long-term relationship. All right. All right, everyone. The next question on the floor is going to be, do you have children? So, yeah, do you have children? We'll start with that. And I'll start with you, James. Do you have children? Yeah, I'm open to it. I'm good with kids. All right. Uh, William? Oh, I do. 
Hi, my name is Fidel Gutierrez Pacho and this is our logo. I represent Perpetual Motors. We're doing a fundraising at GovPalmy.com. These are some of our designs, different ones in the same one. And we have the Agro, Mobile Agro actually it's called. not have any children. All right, and would you like any in the future? I would. Uh, I would like to have a big family. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Benita? I don't have any children, but I am open for it. Awesome. Uh, Kaya? I have two teenage boys, and I don't want another anything in this house that breathes <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Cameron? I don't have any children, um, but I I would like to at some point, just uh, not quite yet. All right. Robin? I don't have any children, but I would definitely like them in the future, for sure. Uh, maybe. Uh, Aiden? Nah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Benjamin? Uh, I do not have any children, um, but in the future, once I feel more established with the person that I see myself um, being with for for um, the foreseeable future for the rest of my life, basically, then yes, I would be open to children. All right. Uh, Cole? No kids yet, but would like at least one in the future. Awesome. Uh, Zora? Uh, no, I don't have any kids. I do have a pet cat. Um, and I definitely do want some uh, some kiddos in the future. Awesome. And Jaren? I currently don't have any children right now, but I, I do look forward to having some in the future. Awesome. <laughs> All right, everyone. The next question on the floor is, why do you think you're single? All right. Why do you think you're single? And I will start with you, Darren. Well, I had, uh, I had cancer in uh, middle school, high school. So, you know, I was in uh, doing chemo at that at that time. So, you know, I missed out on that uh, good high school, middle school experience. So just out there now, you know, just, yeah. Uh, okay, awesome. Uh, Zora? Oh, what was the question? Why are we single? Chill, Why Marissa. It sounded like the third question. Yeah. Chill. <laughs> um, I'm single. Um, I think I got standards um that are hard to balance out in these time periods. It's it's hard to for folks to reach those standards in the society. Okay, <laughs> Cole. Um, I just haven't taken the action to actually meet people before i've mainly been improving myself which it turns out you can do a lot of that from home alone gotcha <laughs> uh benjamin i think the biggest reason why i'm single is because um for the longest time and ever since i've gotten home from the military i have uh just been working on myself i've been very busy on improving my life um i just really haven't had a chance to settle down even when i've been dating somebody I've always put um, myself before other people, and I think that kind of turns them away. And I feel like now um, I've got myself more established to a point where I feel like I, I can become, I can give somebody um, the needs that they're looking for um, without having to worry about getting myself established first. I feel like I'm I'm in a comfortable place, so. Uh, Aiden? I have no idea. Um, she told me, but I wasn't listening. Uh, let's see. Robin? Um, that's kind of hard to answer. Um, maybe it's because I'm really short. I'm like five foot one. Um, I've always been really... <laughs> really ambitious. I was in the Navy for nine years. I got out.
Hi, my name is Melissa Spangler and I'm a senior loan officer here at Guild Mortgage Company in the St. Louis area. I've been in community banking and lending since 2006 with a passion for helping people make their biggest purchase buying their home. Um, we know that in today's market there are several factors that are making home buying challenging for folks entering into the market such as inflation and stagnant wages, making saving for that down payment more difficult, and may also be leading to credit challenges. Here at Guild Mortgage Company, we have several programs designed to help overcome those challenges to get you home. Now, um, a few years ago, I always put my education first. So I went to school right after the Navy, and then I put my career first, so maybe that's why. Okay, I hear you on that. Okay, uh, let's see. Cameron? Yeah, again, <clears throat> absolutely brutal question. Um, but uh, for me, I, I just haven't quite found the right person yet. I've worked really hard on myself to get where I am now. Um, you know, I've got my master's and um, I've you know, worked really hard both on that and my different activities. And uh, for me, I've had the opportunity to be in longer term relationships in the past, but I'm not quite willing to settle for something if I'm going to be with somebody for the rest of my life, which is the purpose. I want it to be the right fit. Um, so I'm, at, at the moment, I'm Still exploring options. Okay. Uh, Kaya? I'm a divorcee of three years. So I'm single because I'm bitter and I'm looking for some sugar, but, you know, people don't have it. So that's it. <laughs> okay. Um, Benny, Benny Kai? Yes. So I've been focusing on school a lot. And uh, other than that, I... I don't think I was looking hard enough, so. Okay, William? Uh, I've been dating with matchmakers and I had to cut it off with them. It's just because the women weren't ready to, for marriage, and that's basically the reason why I'm single. Great, and James? Uh, you know, I'm looking for love in all the wrong places. Um, to be honest with you, yeah. Uh, I had a, a whole new chapter to start. I'm currently a year clean and uh, recovery and have my own place now. And I think I'm going to settle down. Awesome, awesome. All right, everyone, this is a fun question. So the next question is going to be, who is slash was your biggest celebrity crush? So again, it can be now or maybe in the past. So again, who is slash was your biggest celebrity crush? And I will start with you, James. <laughs> Honestly, I never did get in the TV much. So I don't know. That might be crazy. It might sound crazy, but uh, kind of like or anything like that, if I wasn't doing it, singing it, being in life of the party, then I didn't really have a crush on it. Okay. <laughs> William? Oh, it's Jennifer Connelly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Benny Cut? I don't have one. All right. Uh, Kaya? Who Paul? That's the best of both worlds right there. And you got money. Say it, again. Say it again. I didn't hear it. RuPaul. Oh my God, RuPaul. <laughs> okay. And I'm keeping on the y'all. I'm dead serious. That's my ex husband. I love RuPaul. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cameron. <laughs> uh, Anna Kendrick, somebody who can sing is, uh, and is funny. That's a win. Awesome. Robin. Um, I probably have to say uh, Thor from the Marvel movies, Chris Hemsworth. He's yeah. so funny. I don't. I'm not a Marvel <laughs> fan, but I love like the Thor movies because he's so funny and he's attractive. Awesome, uh -huh. <laughs> Benjamin. Uh, I don't have any celebrity crushes right now, but basically, throwing it way back, you know, 15 years ago, when I was about 11 or 12, um, I. Obsessed over Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Cole? I'm going to have to say Shakira. So those hips don't lie. Oh, Shakira, <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Zoran? Um, my celebrity crush is most definitely Becky G. 
her Hi everyone, this is Nicole with Infinite You Wellness Clinic. Bring in the new year the right way with health and wellness on your mind. Looking for an IV after a long night out? Or how about baby Botox for some fine line and wrinkle correction? Or some customized weight loss programs? We offer all that plus testosterone replacement therapy and much, much more. Come check us out. Our locations are 311 North Street in White Plains and One Old Country Road in Garden City, Long Island. Bye. Big bones are immaculate. Her music is great. I'm in love. Okay, awesome. And yeah. I would say uh, Alicia Keys. Awesome. All right, all right, guys. All right. The next question on the floor is going to be, what is your idea of a good date? Again, the question is, what is your idea of a good date? And I would start with you, Darren. I would say uh, taking her out to... You know, coffee, get a, get a couple of drinks, uh, maybe a movie uh, to dinner or something like that. Okay. Uh, Zoran? Oh, God. Um, first date? Um, I think uh, I think one that I've been wanting to try for a minute is a recce room. I kind of want to see them get crazy in a recce room, smashing stuff. You know, <laughs> if, they're a little, if they're a little psycho and crazy, I want to see that day one, see what I'm dealing with. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. So uh for first dates, generally start small and work big, get bigger. So maybe start off with like coffee and in some place like downtown where there's other things to do, like maybe then go to an arcade if everything's going well, or if there's like an escape room or something like that that they can do together, that'd be the ideal. Uh, Benjamin. Um I'm somebody who really likes being outdoors. Um, obviously not right now because I live in the Midwest and it's cold. But if it's like spring, summer, uh, fall, um, I love going for a walk in the park. Um, there's a park I really like going to that's um, out the border of Iowa on the Mississippi River um, that I love going out to and going hiking. At. And then there's a um, there's an overlook that overlooks uh, the River Valley in Iowa. That I really like uh, taking friends to, and uh, I've gone on a couple of dates there before. Uh, that's something I really like. Um, so just starting out small, doing some outdoors, whether it's like I said, going for a walk, hiking, uh, fishing, um, stuff like that. Uh, very, I'm a very simple kind of guy. Awesome, Aiden. Uh, four words: Applebee's. <laughs> Robin um, I think a good date would be it depends on like which date it is but um, and it depends on the weather outside so if it's like cold maybe we get like some hot tea or something or something that would be really fun is like I have two basset hounds and if the person had a dog we could meet at the dog park and like pet all the dogs or that or do like um like an activity together like painting awesome cameron i, I agree with the, a lot of the crowd here starting with uh conversation first you, know, you have to get to know the person if you do the activity too early you'll have no idea by the end of the date if there's even a connection but then you know i'm big on i, I want to do something fun i want to make sure that if i'm you're going to spend time with this person i can have enjoyment with them so Karaoke, dancing, ice skating, some type of activity that we can be together and have a good time. Awesome. Uh, Kaya? I do not have an ideal day. I'm open to a lot of things, but do not take me to Applebee's. Okay. <laughs> <I'm hating. laughs> How many just want one million in the alcohol? Hey, two for 20, dog. <laughs> um, Benica? <laughs> Um, I would say a quiet place um, where we get to talk and really learning about each other. I think that's the most, that's the most important thing. Awesome. Uh, William? I'd probably start off something small with either going to Panera or Starbucks just to grab a cup of coffee or tea and then work my way up and get sushi or something. Awesome. Okay. Uh, let's see. James? 
Well, I would uh, personally like I'm mean, out to eat, so then we could socialize, talk, and possibly like the, if the weather was right. I like nature walks and stuff like that. Um, definitely, maybe in the you know like. We'll carry on throughout the day to start out with like something maybe whether it's a picnic or um, just sitting down at a table and being able to talk to the person, let them know that you, you care and you know pay attention to emotions and feelings and just in case you don't hit it off, you know. Awesome. All right, the next question on the floor is going to be who do you admire most? All right. Question again is, who do you admire most? All right. So I will start with you, James, and I'll give you a second to answer that. Well, it's no longer around, but uh, I admire my, my mother. I'm a big mom's uh, kid, so she taught me a lot of things, respect. Um, she's a single parent, so the work that she did was, Pretty amazing, and uh, that's uh, that's important, you know. Growing up, having responsibility and uh, just respect. So that's that's it. Awesome, uh, William. Uh, so I actually met one of my childhood idols named Abu Boxer. He was a composer for Final Fantasy, so he made a pretty big impact on my childhood. And when I met him in person, he helped me uh, continue my Hollywood journey. Awesome, awesome, okay. Danica? Yes, I would say my sister. Um, she's a hard worker and also she's very graceful. So I've learned a lot from her. She practically raised me. So she's my woman. Awesome. Kaya? I would say that I have a new admiration for myself. Since being divorced, I've learned myself differently. I uh, bettered myself. Well, I admire me for it because I've never thought that I would. Awesome. And I would never do something like this, like ever. So I admire me. Awesome. <laughs> Cameron? Yeah, I've got a bit of a two-parter here on, on the business side for me. Uh, Alex Formosi, I think, is a phenomenal YouTuber who uh, I think is both a, a really hard worker and uh, really admires, you know, the way he thinks. Uh, but on the spiritual side and you know, being a good person, I think my cousin Hunter is a really good man, you know, believes in God, you know, lives the way that he should. Um, so I always try and be, you know, a better person. And if I could be like him, I'd, I'd be very proud. Awesome. Uh, Robin? Um, there's probably like a few people that I look up to, but it's always like people who are like, have accomplished a lot in their life. Like one person that comes to mind is Cesar Chavez. I am half Mexican, so um, Cesar Chavez, the way that he um, stood up for everyone. And like Michelle Obama is another one. She's really well accomplished and she's so beautiful. And Kamala Harris. So I have a, I have a few. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Aiden? I don't look up to no man besides God. Okay. So that's that. Okay. And Ron Jeremy. Awesome. All right. Uh, Benjamin? Um, the person I look up most to, um, he's no longer with us, is my uh, my grandfather. Um, he was somebody who was very soft-spoken, uh, somebody that um, definitely gave me a lot of wisdom um, just from working with him on the farm. And um, he was also a truck driver, too, and I I would ride with him in, the, uh, in his truck sometimes, and he would give me a lot of wisdom. Um, he was somebody that I really look look up to, and um, and I I miss him every single day. Awesome, uh, Cole. Someone I looked up to as like one of my personal role models is Brendan Lee Mulligan, who is he's like a comedian, and he also he he's got done like improv stuff, and he runs games of like. Dungeons and Dragons online, and he's able to balance like this comedic tone with like a serious emotional one as well. And he's like, I don't know, he can go back and forth between like being very stern, but also kind of like a parental figure at the same time. And no matter how much he succeeds, he 
is what he values most above everything else is still his family. Awesome. Yeah, I uh I look up to my grandpa on my dad's side. He's hella funny. He was first in my family to pull up to the United States, make a living. He's built houses by hand, farms, <clears throat> and he always has the family laughing our asses off. And I'm just trying to be like a modern version of himself. Awesome. And yeah. I would say my grandfather because he's hard working, motivated, and has a positive mindset. All right, guys. Awesome, awesome. So the next question on the floor is going to be, are you a forgiver, forgetter, or both? Again, are you a forgiver, forgetter, or both? And I will start with you, Darren. I would say uh, a forgiver, maybe. I mean, it depends on the situation, but yeah, I would say forgiver. Awesome. Uh, Zara? Uh, yeah, I'd definitely be forgiving people. Even before they'd be apologizing, I'd just be like, man, whatever, it's, it's good. It's like it's like the Libra and me and the internal peace or some shit that's just like, thank you, Max. And yeah. Okay. Cole? I don't know if I fully understand the difference, but I think I'd be a forgetter. Hmm. Because I think, well, it's more of you can forgive someone, but you, you know, you can forgive them, but you like, don't forget it so it's like kind of in the back of your mind but if you're a forgetter you're just like literally wa you're washing everything away that's kind of like the difference you know okay so, yeah. i understand yeah i'm definitely a forgetter than like past the past awesome okay uh benjamin uh i am a forgiver the main reason is because um I understand people are deserving of forgiveness but at the same time i also don't forget what they did so i forgive people mainly for the fact that i'm not gonna let what they did weigh on me um i, for, I forgive them just just for the fact that i respect myself to not burn myself with what they with what they did um because one of the biggest things that i've come to realize is if you hold a grudge it's like drinking poison by expecting the other person to uh, get sick. And that's all you do when you're holding a grudge. If you forgive, um, it's a long process, and it's definitely something that takes a long time to get through. Um, the whole process is, long, is, is a long thing to get through, but um, it's, definitely worth, it's definitely worth it in the end, I feel. Uh, sounds good. Uh, Aiden? You guys ever heard of the term uh, forgive but never forget? Super popular on uh, 9 11 memorabilia. Uh, so you gotta, you gotta kind of just uh, look out for the snakes in the grass, you know? But uh, don't forget about them, but forgive them. Robin? I would say I'm both, but I probably lean more towards forgiving, not forgetting, because um, I mean, people are allowed to mess up, they're allowed to make mistakes, but if you continue to make those mistakes, then there's no growth, and that's you know, that's the part where you, like, don't forget. But I guess I'm leaning more towards forgiving, but I think I'm both. I can be both. Awesome. Cameron? Uh, probably closer to a, a forgetter. I have a terrible memory. Like, I have to write a lot of things down because I'm doing a lot uh, most of the time. Um, I If somebody makes a really big mistake, I'm going to remember it because you know, I don't want to see a pattern to make sure that you know, that's not a routine issue. But at the end of the day, Mistakes are going to happen. Um, that's the only way to grow is how you learn from them. So I think it's an important part of the process. Also, phenomenal jokes, Aiden. World class. Kaya? I will have to say neither because I am not a petty person. So if I have any issue with you, you deserved it. I'm not forgetting and I'm not forgiving, period. That's <laughs> it. Taking it to the grave. Okay. Yeah, down. Okay. Uh, so if you did something, you deserve what you got from me. <laughs> I hear you, uh, Benica. I would say um both. It really depends on the uh, on the uh, transgression. For sure, William. 
I'm definitely a forgiver. I've had some pretty big upsets that's happened when COVID started into now. I was unaffected by it mostly, but I saw how it was impacting other people. And forgiveness goes a long way, but you can't forget what people did depending on what the transgression was. So just forgive and be mindful. Awesome. And James. Uh, I pretty much can forgive somebody. I want to forget it because I need to learn from it. But I'm bigger on not forgiving myself. So, you know, so you got me over once. Same on me if you get me over twice. The next question on the floor is going to be, describe your three best qualities. All right. Describe your three best qualities. And I would start with you, James. I would say uh, easy going. I'm pretty... Even though life has been hard, you know, it's nobody's fault. So I'm easy going. I was, you know, so uh, happy because I'm always like trying to, to please other people and stay happy myself. So kind of like a, a neutral, you know, I don't like drama. Try to avoid it. And uh, so my personality would be funny. Happy and outgoing, you know, kind of like a comedy, comedy person, but uh, I can get serious too. I just don't like to. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, I'd say I'm pretty creative. One of the things I learned from my last working cycle was sometimes when you get pushed up against a wall, you might have to literally pull a rabbit out of your ass. It's pretty vulgar, but sometimes you just got to get that creative with the problem. Uh, I'm pretty determined and daring and working on some Hollywood projects that are, I don't want to say it's really controversial, but it is. And having the balls to step up and commit to it was a pretty big deal. And I'm pretty much outgoing. I'm not really afraid of anything. Uh, I will put my neck out on the line for somebody if, if I feel like it's worth it. Um, Danica? Uh, I would say that I'm a quick learner. I am kind and I'm also ambitious, quite ambitious. All right, Kaya? I would say I'm compassionate, I have a lot of integrity, and I'm also an intensive listener. Awesome, Cameron? Uh, kindness is really important to me. I always want people around me to achieve success. I mean, that is my job after all as a financial planner. Um, very funny, as long as you're not easily offended. Um, and I think I... I always make sure to have a good time. doesn't matter what it is. There's no activity. You know, I won't do with somebody. And uh, my, my partner's happiness is what's utmost. Awesome. Uh, Robin? Um, I think I would say I'm pretty understanding. Um, I'm pretty lighthearted about things. I try not to take myself too seriously and just try to, like, be positive and look at the, the funny side of everything and try to be really uplifting. Um, that, and I'm pretty driven. So like, if there's an issue, like I usually always find an answer to it. I try to be logical about it. So understanding, um, lighthearted and driven. Awesome. Aiden? Uh, I'm under six foot. Uh, I, might, I might have pre-diabetes. And uh, and I'm not I'm not easily scared. Yeah, um, I feel like I'm a good leader. So I so leadership. Uh, one of the things that I learned uh, from one of my superiors while serving in the Navy is um to be one on one with uh with your fellow sailor. And, um, but also don't be afraid to show tough love either. Um, when they're messing up, don't be afraid to show tough love because, because at the end of the day, it's leadership, not likership. Uh, I'm somebody that has, um, um, really a good work ethic. I feel that if you're there to do a job, you should do it to the best of your ability and ask questions, gain all the knowledge you can. Um, and I'm also going back to the last question, forgiving. Um, I can give you maybe 
I can give you maybe one or two chances, but after that, you're I'm just making a fool of myself. So, um, uh, leadership, work ethic, and uh, forgiving, I feel like, are my um, three best qualities. Awesome. Cole? One, I always, I'm always trying to improve myself. Two, I will, I'm, I make an effort to like establish a emotional connection as well. And three, I just, I don't ever give up. Awesome, Zora. Yeah, so I'm, I'm confident. I like to tackle shit head on. Um, even I'm, I'm, uncomfortably confident sometimes. You know, if that makes sense in that order. Uh, I'm pretty funny. I like making people laugh. I think laugh is like the most powerful emotion somebody could feel and it helps people get through anything and everything. And so I think laughter is like underrated and everybody needs a smile on their face, right? And the last one, um, not too sure. Um, caring, sympathetic. I'm a people's person, something along those lines. Like I'd be reading people and dabbing them up when needed. So, yeah. Awesome. And Darren. Um, motivational, adventurous, and and ambitious. Awesome. All right. The next question on the floor is going to be, what are you passionate about? All right. What are you passionate about? And I would go to you, Jaren. I'll say I'm passionate about uh, being successful, uh, achieving all of my dreams, or most of them at least, and uh, exploring the world. Awesome. Uh, Zora? Oh, passion. <clears throat> um, I'm passionate about diversifying, like, the tech industry, uh, the employment and the designers behind uh, the industry who are making these software, video games, and who are hiring other folks. It's a very undiversified industry at the moment, and the work I do constantly puts people and gives them the exposure they need to uh, get hired in, in these places. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, Cole? Right now, I'm pretty passionate about art and drawing. And just, I don't know, I've just been really getting to that and just improving a lot. All right. Uh, Benjamin? Um, I'm very passionate about music and um, the outdoors. I feel like both are very therapeutic for me. Um, music because I love listening to music and I also write and play guitar. I play a little bit of piano. Um, but I, I'm not somebody who my emotions with words very much. So I feel like being able to show emotions through, um, the music I play is, um, is more beneficial than, than me trying to explain it. And the same thing with being outside as well is once I go outside, get fresh air, my mood you know, if I'm in a bad mood that day, if I'm feeling sad or angry or whatever, it's a complete 180. I, I'm just, I'm on cloud nine. I feel just uh, so much better when I'm one-on-one -on -one with nature, just being out in the trees, being in my water, um, hearing birds chirping, seeing seeing the animals outside. Um, so music and uh, music and the outdoors are two things I'm very passionate about. Awesome. Aiden? Uh, I don't have uh, a lot of passions uh, or, or any passions. I kind of just wake up. I, I do what needs to be done. And then I go to bed. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not a very passionate person. And uh, maybe somebody can change that. All right. Robin? Um, I feel like, <gasps> personally speaking... Um, I'm very passionate about, um, living like a clean lifestyle, like eating really healthy, like watching what you put in your body. Cause your body is your temple. If you're good to your body, like your physical health and your mental health are tied together. So I try to eat really clean. Um, I lift a lot. I, I'm really into working out. It took me a couple years to like, actually look like, look forward to going to the gym. But now when I go to the gym, I feel so confident. I know what I'm doing. Um, and it's the, like the number one thing get, that gives me the most confidence. So, uh, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Cameron? 
uh, helping others. So to me, you know, the greatest joy I feel is when I bring it to others. So I sing and play trumpet semi-professionally. So I love seeing the smile on people's faces when that goes well. Uh, I'm a fiduciary, so it's, I'm legally required to help people in, in my job. So change people's finances. And then believe it or not, I've recently solved the national debt that will be pitching to some senators here in about a month. So if I'm dead in about a month, you know why. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's the goal. So I'm trying to, you know, help us and help all those around me. Okay. You'll live, you'll live. <laughs> uh, Kaya. <laughs> uh, I'm most passionate about motherhood. Awesome. Danica. Yes, I'm passionate about exploring other cultures as well as financial freedom. Awesome. William? I'm passionate about my creative projects. There's always something new I'm waking up to every morning and throughout the day, there's always something crazy going on with either one of them. So it's kind of keeping up with a good fight and seeing what's going to transpire. All right, and James. I'm passionate about God, other romance and music and facts if uh, something is a fact uh, I don't know why but I'm like drawn to it and it's like interesting you know like um, learning new things uh, so. all right everyone how can you be contacted I will start with James how can you be contacted well um, probably my Facebook is James Edward Owens James Edward Owens and my email is hustle eight five nine like basketball at gmail dot com. All right, James. Thanks for coming out and have a good night. William? I can be best reached at oh I can be best reached at Will Dems, W-I-L-D-E-N-P-S at Yahoo.com. I'm not a big social media person and I've been advised to stay off the platforms as much as I can just with all the crazy people that are on there and you don't really know who you're talking to or who's on the other end of the line. So Pretty much just emails is the best way to reach me. All right. William. Sounds good. Have a good night. Uh, Benica, how can you be contacted? So Benica, B-E-N-I-C-A-T-B at gmail.com. All right. Sounds good. Have a good night. Uh, Kaya? You can find me on Instagram if you want to talk to a bitter divorcee. That's really funny. My Instagram is Got like G O T, the number two, love L U V, Kaya, K Y A. Kaya, have a good night. Cameron? Uh, you can contact me by Instagram, uh, Cameron underscore S L A X. All right, Cameron, thanks for coming out and have a good night. Robin? Um, my Instagram handle is kind of embarrassing, so I'll just give my email. Um, I guess we can do Robin Todd 1991 at gmail.com. I also want to say it was really nice to hear from everyone. I think everyone here is super cool and really cute. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> All right, Robin, have a good night. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> uh, Aiden? Robin, I'm really oh shit. Yeah, Robin, I'm really passionate about dogs. Uh my Instagram is Aiden Fresh, all right? <laughs> all righty. <laughs> Benjamin. Um my Instagram handle is uh BCM one zero 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 one 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 zero one zero one. And my um email address is B Mullins. So that's B M U L L I N S. 467 at gmail.com. All right, Benjamin. Sounds good. Have a good night. Cole? All right. My Instagram is literally just my name. C-O-L-E S-A-V-O-I-E. No space or anything. My email is Cole period Savoy at hotmail.com. All right, Cole. Sounds good. Have a good night. Uh, Zoran? Uh, yeah, my Instagram is um, <clears throat> freshest.produce. It's because my last name is Mercado, which means marketing in Spanish. So I'm freshest produce out here. Uh, and Aiden, tell your Discord friends I said what's up. Hey, what's up, Omi? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Have a good night, Zoram. And Aaron, how can you be contacted? 
I could be contacted at my on my Facebook. Uh, my name is uh, my name Darren Tolton. Follow us and subscribe to our channel to join our next singles party.